Marvin the Martian has always been an iconic staple of the Looney Tunes. His many attempts of trying to make earth-shattering kabooms have been keeping us laughing for decades. Well, what if I told you that in the early 2010s, we almost got a live-action Marvin the Martian Christmas movie? Well, that's the movie we'll be discussing today, as we break down the development and cancellation of Marvin the Martian. The year was 2008 when news broke that Warner Brothers was entering early development on a movie based on Marvin the Martian at Alcon Entertainment. The movie, much like Space Jam and Looney Tunes back in action before it, would be a hybrid of live action footage and animation. Though, unlike those movies, Marvin the Martian would be rendered in 3D CGI as opposed to 2D animation. The film was set to follow Marvin trying to destroy Christmas, but his plans get cut short when Santa wraps him in a gift box. The team behind the film intended for the movie's tone to fall in line with other Alcon family films like Racing Stripes and My Dog Skip. A year later, it was reported that the movie had landed its director by way of Alex Zam, and that the producers had been talking to Mike Myers to voice Marvin, and sometime later, Christopher Lee was tapped to play Santa Claus. The film's release date was set at October 7th, 2011, but obviously, that never came to pass. Though, in 2012, test footage for the movie would leak, giving us a better idea of the movie's tone. And here's the kicker, it was leaked by Alex Zam, and it shows a light-hearted and fun Christmas romp. While I definitely don't think that the movie would have been anything mind-blowing, going off of this footage, it seems to faithfully capture the spirit of Marvin's character. But with development underway, an interesting concept, test footage being made, and two incredible leads anchoring the movie, that raises the question. Why did it get canned? In 2010, Warner Brothers unceremoniously pulled Marvin the Martian from its release calendar without giving it a new date. As time ticked on, Warner would never give the movie another date, leaving the film to die, presumably, in development hell. While we've never gotten a concrete reason as to why the film got cancelled, there are some theories that the poor performance of Looney Tunes Back in Action killed this movie. And while Back in Action has been cited as the movie that killed the Looney Tunes film career, that being the reason just doesn't line up with the timeline of events. Since by the time this movie entered development, it had been five years since Back in Action. If anything, this movie was Warner's first very public attempt to revive the Looney Tunes after Back in Action. If I had to make an educated guess as to what happened to this movie, I think that it just wasn't working behind the scenes and it was deemed unsalvageable. Because it's important to note that when the test footage leaked for this movie, test footage also leaked for another movie, a film revival of Hong Kong Fooey, which was also a movie that Alex Zam was going to direct for Alcon and Warner Brothers. And since Zam was the one who posted the test footage online, we could assume that by the time he did that in 2012, both of those projects were already long dead, and that Zam had moved on from working with Alcon altogether. Because if there was even a chance of either of those movies coming out, it wouldn't make sense for Zam to leak that footage and damage his relationship with Warner Brothers and Alcon. Since Marvin the Martian had its release date pulled in 2010, I don't think that it would be crazy to assume that the project died then and there, and that by 2012 it was so dead that Zam felt the statue of limitations was up for long enough that he felt comfortable posting that test footage. In the end, I think that it's a shame that this movie never saw the light of day. Between its fun plot and interesting cast, I don't know if it would have ushered in a grand return of the Looney Tunes on film, but I do think that if this test footage is anything to go off of, Marvin would have been, at the very least, a very loony Christmas movie. But that's the story of Marvin the Martian, and the end of yet another episode of Canned Goods. So until next time, thank you so much for watching, be good to each other, and stay hammers.